Our first theater release this episode is Iron Man. Russell? Yes, Iron Man it is, Patrick. Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., is this rich bachelor that sells weapons of mass destruction to the war overseas. But when out of this business in Denver, endeavor, he soon finds that his weapons are being mass marketed across the, the country. Then, I lost my place. These enemies know, now have a price. Cut. You can't just keep going after you lose your place. I was, I was not even going to say he's a rich bastard. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Which actually could work. I'm not cussing. <laughs> More of his business than of my own. To me, this was a big time bust. If you wanted shock value, go to this movie. Let me offer my opinion. Thanks for asking. Based on... ...analyze <laughs> on the boy's musical talent. Determined to find his parents, the boy, known as August Rush, played by newcomer Freddie Highmore, realize on music to draw. That's relies. It's relies, not relies. Relies. What's wrong? Do I have a fluffer? <laughs> From the top? Yeah, I'm gonna get this a time. Let's do I'm a take on this. this time. New take? Yeah. Oh. Okay. On DVD picks, take three. Five, four, I know that's me. What were you doing? All right. what, are you, what are you looking at? He was looking at, at Patrick. Oh, okay. Both of you look at the I was camera. Actually looking at the calendar. Look at the camera, um, please. Okay. Here you go. Now you can't daze. Look at the birdie. I, I don't know about you, Russell, but I have a booger coming out of my nose. <laughs> Did you see it before? Yes, I saw it. It was hanging out your nose. Why did you I stop it? I thought you had that? the monster's <laughs> tentacle coming out. Okay, let's just. Do you want me to stop it? What do you want me to do? I have a Kleenex ready in my pocket. Let me get that for No, I want you to say, uh, booger. Booger! <laughs> booger! All right. I thought you would keep Smell it. Smell, Smell it. it. All right, let's move. Uh, five. Continuation of take two. <laughs> what happened to your neck? What happened? What happened? <laughs> well, to it me. was like he was shot in the neck. <laughs> Are you okay? I got a whiplash. Let's <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. I got to stretch out my tongue in my neck. Why your tongue? Because <laughs> it shot clear to my tongue. <laughs> what? The pain shot to your tongue. You might. We're good. I don't know. That's normal. That's, that's not right. Oh, what is going on? What? Don't. I don't know if this is all on camera. <laughs> Russell sticking that his tongue. No! I have never gotten a twinge oh, where my, my neck has a pain and it shoots to my tongue and I have to stretch them both out. <laughs> well, that happens. It's happened to me like, you never, know, like. I can't wait to tell you, Russell. Oh Maybe you should have a doctor check this out. No, I'm not having doctors. No. <laughs> but like, you've never stretched, like, if you twist your neck really hard, and then it's like. Yeah. That's not even. It's not like you said a nap right there. But... <laughs> I don't see that business very often, Patrick. Remember? <laughs> This is like a whole blooper reel in itself right now. <laughs> you like farted. <laughs> Maybe I have a farting sense. Maybe sauce. I have a farting sense and that's why that did that. Come to think right your time. Ooh, wave from back. Air. Air. All right, yeah, just keep waving at me. <laughs> You're used to meth methane. Have you ever done it for a I have no idea what a fruit cup is. When you fart and then take a fruit cup and toss it in their face? You can actually smell it. 